Welcome back to iTravel Exclusives. Recently, Mrs. Kopkan Watarangkul, the Minister of Tourism and Sports, addressed an ABAC forum that was held at the Dutsitani Hotel in Bangkok. Her speech was about the importance of empowering women across the ASEAN region to better enable them to add their contributions to economic growth and prosperity in ASEAN countries. Thank you for joining us at iTravel Exclusives. In this edition, we cover the APEC Business Advisory Council, where the Minister of Tourism and Sports delivered a very powerful address. Her speech focused on the need to empower women to ensure the economic prosperity of all ASEAN countries across the region. This empowerment will enable women's access to economic resources and opportunities in financial services, jobs, skills, development, and other productive aspects. The ability to access these services will further guarantee each country's future economic success. When women are in power to take an active role in a country's economic growth, they tend to think towards the future and what they can provide for their children. This mindset is important in making a country's growth sustainable and ongoing. Women typically invest a higher proportion of their earnings in their families than men do. This insistence on their family's well-being is an important facet to consider in the sustainability of every country's economic growth. We spoke with Mrs. Kopkan about the importance of addressing this facet of economic growth. It's always great to have such a gathering of the great mind. There are the prominent uh, business uh, people from Asia Pacific. And unity is very important. And even if talking to rela relation uh, of business to tourism, I think tourism, business, investment, we grow and we go together. And so it is important for, for us to be able to share, not only in the perspective of women working, which is, I think, definitely nowadays, no doubt. I mean, you require women to work or even work harder and how to make sure that they can work harder or, or make sure that they can help. This is a great opportunity because this is Opportunity Thailand. This is the place and time when um, Thailand and ASEAN, we are, we are now stepping into another level. And so therefore, for the get, gathering to be here, I, I believe that not only they can discuss uh, important issues, but it is uh, the, the very chance for, for us to showcase Thailand and the Thai people. And Women Executive is one of that. That if you work with us, and if you invest in us, uh, I, I believe that um, you have a good team. A lot of women executives who are very loyal, work so hard, and, and we, we will keep our, 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 our duty, keep our words. And, and you have plenty of this in, 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 in our country. But I should not say only for Thailand, but I think this is an opportunity for ASEAN as well. And so therefore, this is a platform. We also spoke with Catherine Rich, a first-time visitor to Thailand and a former member of parliament in her native country of New Zealand, who talked about the importance of this issue. I think it's important to remind everybody the importance of women's empowerment. Women are such a big part of the economy, and yet some don't have the, co the confidence or the resources to be able to take the opportunities in front of them. So lunches like this today remind all women that inside us we have the ability to, to, to fulfil our dreams and to do things in our lives which are important. In particular, the Minister gave such a passionate speech about her inspiration from the King, from her mother and from others in her family. It's a reminder that you know everybody, every woman could take the opportunity to, um, to do as, as, as well as they, she would like. Lastly, we spoke with Diane Wang, who talked about the need for women to be able to access technology in order to compete in the digital world. So this time we are very passionate about how to empower women in the uh, digitalization and the globalization. So uh, we heard a lot of very good sharing from the speakers. Because I think in each ABAC meeting, we wanted to uh, uh, come again over and over, over to ask the people to give us inputs. And we wanted to, uh, to have some of the uh, concrete programs that we can really help the women community, especially young women, how they can leverage digitalizations 
to go global, to access internet finance, to realize their entrepreneurship dreams. The ability of a country to sustain and grow its tourism industry is directly related to the empowerment subject addressed at this ABAC meeting. A country that is not using all of its resources as effectively as possible will lag behind its neighbors in meeting the growing and changing demands of tourists and the hospitality industry. Women are a vital part of every country's resources and empowering them to take full advantage of every opportunity will pave the way to a country's economic success and future well-being. That's it from iTravel Exclusives. Stay connected to this channel to learn more about what's happening all around the Asia-Pacific region. See you next time. Check out more exclusive iTravel content by clicking on the video tiles and don't forget to subscribe. You can also stay up to date with all things iTravel by following us on Twitter and liking our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.